up everybody mtg dad back for another one I'm going to be playing a little more rakdos ramp today a couple changes i made uh the first one is grabby giant which has been a really really good change i think this is actually the best card for ramping because it has instant speed and then it's an adventure so also it has reach and it also has card draw there's just so many things about this card i think this card is actually perfect for this deck i i don't know why I have not used this card before. That's why playtesting is important. Um, so all of our ramp is instant speed, which is nuts, because basically what that does is it gives us the option to play the ramp or play kill spells. We're playing the full four bitter triumphs, playing a couple push push pull for later, and then we're playing Phyrexian Flesh Scorcher for early life gain, and then to benefit from push pull later as well. And then playing three Vein Ripper and also we're playing Gix's Command, which has been a really nice addition. So we have seven different board wipes, um, eight different pieces of removal. We have multiple sources of life gain. Um, I consider Aquazot Ramp as well. And then um, Vein Ripper is our top end. And it, it's this deck has felt like, as far as like the creature version of Rakdos Ramp, without Chandra and without like Robbery or Breach, this deck has felt so good. It's super consistent. The ramp is amazing, and the life gain is great, and the board wipes are great for certain matchups. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to get into this one today and see how it does on the ladder. But let's get in some games. Looks good to me. Early board wipe. Got to push pull if we need to. Carnosaur is better. We got things. Okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Already like this card because it's instant speed too. Gives us options either Carnosaur. We're we playing mono white control. Ugh. It's an annoying matchup. Sun falls are coming. Jesus command is cool. We're just gonna big score here. Probably getting rid of Brotherhood's end. I don't really care about the grabby giant right now. Okay. Up to seven mana feels amazing, but not really anything that great. Restless Fence is good, but let's go and drop a Carnosaur down. Two of that. Very nice, very nice. It's a good turn for us. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Green, white. Okay, killing something here. Ah, ah, yes. The amazing ossification, double double ossification, so that we can't get anything back from our graveyard. So nice, isn't it? This game is so funny. Um, let's play this. Hold up the bitter triumph. Immediately play against. Exile removal when we have all the cards. Fight rigging. Sweet. So let's see what he does here. I mean, we're just going to kill that thing if he tries to uh, put a counter on it. Take our three life. Uh, yeah. How's that taste? Tastes good. Cool. Here's a thing. Um, got nothing in our graveyard. We're gonna definitely gonna um play this on one. Take whatever creature they have. Whatever has the ability to become big quickly.
here. Cool. Cool. Okay. It's gonna be a 3 3. Oh wow. That was fast, wasn't it? So we just fix this command for this turn. Nice. Wow. What a turn for him. With a 1 1. It's impressive. Nothing, though? Really? Um. Thinking we want a Bane Ripper, but we're definitely gonna kick this command here and just yeah, do that, do the thing. So now we have options. Gets us in land again. Awesome. So much fun to keep top, top decking fight rigging. <laughs> this game, man. This game is hilarious. Seven mana. Hmm. That's a twelve turn. Okay, or yeah, we're just definitely just gonna do this. Do they have another one of these? Yeah. It's not great. It doesn't have vigilance. I think we go. I think. Let's go Carnosaur down first. I think we need to get that down first. Just to give us a little more board presence because we can actually block that thing now. Cool. Keep top decking perfect cards. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, let's block with that. This guy's flip his top deck perfect answers every single turn. Ugh. Actually, kill both of these. Put this in with this. Then play this. Um. Our opponent has literally top decked fire every single turn. It's uh, quite annoying. So if when he swings in with this thing, well, now they're all going to have vigilance. Yeah. I mean, it'd be really nice if he would stop top decking an amazing card every turn. It'd be very, very nice. But, you know, 
we do have push pull, so we should be okay. We can just swing up the gorger. Um, take our nine, go up to ten. Yeah. Could also just push. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what to do here. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's just quite dumb. That's only getting us in for... Yeah. Nope. So we block with Carnosaur here, I think. It'd be nice if he'd stop top decking amazing cards every single turn. Okay. He's going for 13. I mean, it doesn't have trample, so... I'm not worried about that. Okay, cool. Um, Double block? Sure. Yep. Okay. Cool. Nice. Do we have game here? I think so. I think so. We got Carnosaur coming in and a uh, Yeah. That should do it, dude. Yeah, we'll just discard uh we'll just pay three life and kill that. Yeah, good game. Yeah, very resilient. All the, even though our opponent <laughs> drew perfect every single turn, just about there. Let's see, going first, I like it. I like the Rockus Theaters. No, we need things. Mono red. Your trap's good. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Okay, dinos. Um, yeah. This should be a decent matchup. But, depends on what kind of dinos we're playing. If we're playing fight rigging, it's going to be tough. He's going to play the triumph and chump. I mean, it's fine. He loses three life. Sure. Lightning strike. Uh, do we just... Yeah, I think we just get our value out of Brotherhood's end here. Just because... It's not going to have a ton of value. Bane Ripper is good. Now we kind of want to, yeah, we want to save the bitter time for big creatures. Um, we need that fifth land now for the bat. Play with fire, okay. So mono red dinosaur deck, I guess. Come on, land. Yes, love it. Gotta have, he's gotta draw land, or have two play with fires, basically in his hand. Which either way is fine, because then we play Bane Ripper, and then it's like, how you deal with that? Nope. What does that thing do? Flying haste, it flips. Uh, we're just gonna swing in, and then play the Bane Ripper. The Gorger feels so nice with the push-pull strategy because you're basically like, you know, if it doesn't protect you, you're still putting pressure on your opponent, if it doesn't get you the life gain, whatever, and then you get it back later and just push-pull. So he's going to have 
fine. I don't think he can deal with Bane Ripper, to be honest. And I think we just win the game next turn if he doesn't have a way to deal with Bane Ripper. I mean, even if he deals with this card somehow, he'll be down to 11. We swing in. Depends on what he does here. Vayne Ripper is busted. Because he basically still drains them of four life, even if they have a way to deal with it. But he, I, he doesn't have a way to deal with it unless he... Uh, Yeah, I don't, I don't know how he gets out of this. Okay. Cool. So he had Stoke the Flames, which is an extremely weird card to play. So we swing in for 6, he's down to 5. And then we can Bitter Triumph. We cannot flip this right now. Actually, we can, so we just do this. Take three life. Goes down to two. Or three, I'm sorry, and then we flip this. Cool. Sweet turn there. That should wrap this one up. Okay. This looks good to me. Rockets Theater on one is always nice. Um, no, we want that, actually. That's a ramp. Ramp spell, please. Sweet. Yeah, I think this is the better version of ramp because it's instant speed. Instant speed is nuts. Okay, we're playing as our own version of a ramp back here. So we can big score this turn. Get rid of something. I don't know. Um, probably get rid of. Let's see what they do. So basically, all of all of the ramp in, in our deck right now is instant speed. Which, you know, instant speed or spells are just so much better because it gives me the option to remove something on their turn potentially, or just ramp. So it makes sense. It's the best. The best card for this situation. The opponent is had enough. I don't blame him. I mean, I I don't blame him. Swinging in for one, sure. Um, yeah, unfortunately we don't have anything great to discard right now, but we're just going to get rid of the Brotherhood's End, I think. Because we do know he's playing some kind of ramp, so I don't think this card is as useful. Ooh, there's some good stuff. So we're at six lands. No, we can just say dinosaur. Um, okay, I think we. I mean, we're in such a good sh shape right now. I actually don't want to play the Vein Ripper at the moment. I think we're just gonna big score. And then discard the Ripper. Yeah. Yes, that is the plan. Because then we can get it back with Virtue. I mean, they have no way to deal with Virtue. Virtue is going to be a problem, especially because they're only at two mana. I mean, it's not, not a great feeling for him, I'm sure. He cuts down himself, sure. So we big score ourself, and then I think this yeah this game's gonna be about wrapped up because I mean there's no way he can deal with virtue, and then um, we're just gonna be too far ahead at that point.
Yeah, this this list feels so good. That's a good card too. Um, but I think because we have more mana now we can just hurt you. We'll carnage sword next turn. Again, Virtue's the card that they don't have a way to deal with, so. <laughs> Sorry. Yar. He's at three mana. Praxian Arena is cool. Try to. Try to encourage him to see if he'll still play, stick around for us to dominate. I, I, I highly doubt he's gonna stick around after this. Uh, yeah. um, the cool thing is we're gonna swing in for what 17 next turn. And then deadly cover up ourselves and win the game. Yeah, because we'll, we'll bring back whatever creature he has. I'm going to be honest, I mean, this is only the third game I'm playing with this, but this has felt like the best version of this yet. I do miss Atali, but consistency is more important. You could always throw an Atali in the sideboard for fun, for shits and giggles. It's just the it's the instant speed removal part that makes it so great. And then the Gravity Giant puts them under more pressure too, because it's a four three. And it has reach. Which you know. Okay. Try to keep him around for a turn, right? Yeah, just put that in our hand. Swing in for ten. Puts him at seven. So, oh, I guess we could have. Do we have a restless vents? No. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll just play the Gravity Giant. Does he grab a giant? Sure. Yeah, because I mean, if he kills him, then he just loses 10 life and it's a good game. So, yeah, good game. That was a good one, man. I mean, I yeah, he got a little mana screwed, but as far as us like we were we were ramped up quick and we were consistent so like super good stuff cool i mean i'm just gonna do it i'm that's what i'm that's what i'm here to do i'm here to here to To win games. Boom, boom, boom. Good game. Alright, this is a this is a sweet hand. This is the kind of hand you dream of. Oh, okay, this why do I always gotta play this deck whenever I play ramp? I swear, man. Always gotta play that deck. Such an annoying deck because of these. Eef. Okay. Um do we kill this now? Yeah, we do. I think we just discard the Gorger. Might have to use Karnsor here again. Again, we're on the back foot going second. Yeah, we don't want them doing Shigeki shenanigans. Another, another annoying one. Um, 
think now we're gonna have to. Start creating treasure tokens. Yeah, again, we played what, at least four board wipes that could deal with this. We play push pulls. We play. We play things. But that card is definitely a menace. Gotta find land. Land is good. I think um, we probably want a bat here, yeah. Do they have a counter spell? That would be quite annoying. Nope, no counter spell. The bounce effect? Mm -hmm. Also annoying. Not worried about the life gain, I'm just worried about this thing flipping. We just need to keep drawing lands at this point. We have. Oh well, that's not great. He doesn't have the card yet, though. But we really should have saved a bit of time for this card. But I mean, Shigeki's a problem too, so they're both bad. I mean, again, going second, right? If we going first, we would have not had to make that choice. Okay, so that's good. Put the bat down, we can at least have a blocker unless he has another Fading Hope. Okay, Tortoise is annoying because he can find the land that he needs. Didn't find it yet. Tortoise, though. Again, a board wipe is great for us. I mean, we need to take out Tortoise, though. Tortoise is a problem. So I think we do this for sure so we can play Carnus for next turn. Then we kill this. Could have also just done that differently and killed this too. Yeah. Could have done that differently. I could have minus three on that thing and then Carnosaur. Still doesn't have the land that he needs, though. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I do not care about his life total. Okay, that's nice, actually. So he doesn't have the land yet. Hopefully, we can find a better triumph here. is good. Um, yeah, we're casting it. I'm just trying to figure out what we're looking for here. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I did not. Did not want to do it on one. But at this point, yeah, we're going to get rid of that card anyways. Is that an instant? Oh, it is an instant. Wow. Why did it not trigger anything? Why did it? Oh, this is not in his hand, that's why. What? <laughs> I don't understand why that didn't trigger. I guess it did trigger. It did trigger. Okay, it just went to flashback. Okay. Now I now it's making sense. Is that the is that the card? No. Still not the card. So 
go to your library for a card. Um, what do we need? Land? Or no, we just vein rip. We just want to vein rip her up, right? Yeah. So we can big score it away. Not that worried about taking. He still has to own it at the beginning of his upkeep. Yeah, so we're gonna swing. Nice. Well, that's good. Okay. I think we're in good shape now. So this is. What, we don't have the mana for that? Wow. <laughs> okay, sure. Weird. That's weird. Come on, better triumph. Cruelty. Alright. Let's go. Let's see the battlefield. What's going on here? Just the thing. What does he have? Oh, okay. So, we're probably going to do this on two to get the better triumph. So we can kill the Titan. Probably could have done that last turn, right? Because it's the entire card that we were worried about. But it's fine. How did we not. How are we. Oh, we need three blacks. Okay, he's, so he's just. He's gonna do this thing? Okay, well, we're. That's totally fine. So a cruelty gets no value, whatever. Do not care. Do we want to land or bitter triumph? We want a bitter triumph. Yeah, we just want to kill this stupid titanium so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that's cute, man. Well, I guess we could have done that on our upkeep, right? Because we had the bitter triumph. Would have been smart, right? But do we care? We don't care. Bitter Triumph is good. I think that should wrap this one up. I don't think there's much he could top deck. Pixis Command is good. He has a Fading Hope. Sure. I mean, he survives, right? Uh, okay. Good luck dealing with that. Yeah, you can't you can't deal with that. You can just do it now. <laughs> Good game. Vein Ripper is bonkers. Going first, got removal, no ramp, but it's okay. Got the removal. Got plenty of removal into a vein ripper at some point, hopefully. So hopefully we're not playing against control. That's probably the worst hand we can have. Okay, it's not control. That's a good sign. Oh, okay, this is that deck. Yeah, I know what this deck is. I think I know what this is. Nah, I don't mean, I don't know. Well, now we need land, so. Yeah. Just, uh. Does it really matter? Either way, we're not getting a Carnosaur anytime soon, unless we find ramps, so I'm okay with just doing that. We 
have a handful of removal. Land? Yes, sir. Dinosaur? Yeah. Okay. Just gotta find... If we find ramp, like, this is just... We're in such good shape if we find ramp. Great big white mouse token. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Creatures you control get 1 1 in vigilance until the end of the turn. Okay. Didn't find a land. Okay. Well, we have board wipes for days. The only thing we're worried about is like a giant creature coming down. Two damage, discarding the cards, create a 4-4. Four, four. So we kill on the 4-4 four, four here. Yes, we are, because we have to deal with that. So we're going to discard the Vein Ripper. So now we have two sweet creatures in the discard pile. Do not care if he makes another token. Could Gix's command here return something to our hand? Doesn't feel... Two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand? That's disgusting. Create a token that's a copy. So he's gonna create another... token. So... I think we... Hmm... I mean, we could still, um... The thing is, yeah, Gix's Command feels so good here, too. The thing is, well, he creates a copy. We have Deadly Cover-Up, so I'm not that worried about what he does here. Not in the slightest. And then if he doesn't do anything, the Brotherhood's end. If we draw a land, then we just... Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suffer. I'm not afraid of phantoms. They're afraid of me. Okay. No land. Oof. Okay, so I think we're going to, um... Man, we really need land. <laughs> so we, we have things we could do. Let's see what he does here, though. If he, if he pluses one to create a flyer, then we can... Carnosaur into Brotherhood's end and kill him. Kill this thing. Since we are continuing to struggle finding our lands this game. But and down. Sure. That's an interesting one. So what's he doing here? My wrath will cleanse the multiverse. Oh, nice. Okay, that doesn't do anything for us. Kill that next turn. Well, what is what does this do? What is that saying? I can't see what it's saying. Um, yeah, I don't. So basically, the only thing, yeah, I don't know. He, if he takes Brotherhood's end, that's probably the best choice. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Whenever one of our creatures. In if you to put an exile, you may choose a creature card from among the two target token you control becomes a copy of it. Okay. I play by my own rules. Keeps things interesting. Does it? Okay, so he's doing that, which is annoying. So we really need to find a land here. Yeah, that card's getting annoying already. We need to find land so that we can harness <laughs> or. After we brotherhood's end. But they all look like a payday to me. Yeah. What did he just egg for? The carnosaur? Wow. It's fun. Thanks, Arena. For matching us up against this stupid deck. Thanks. Cool. That's even better. So we brotherhood's end. It's three damage. <laughs> You have to do, do better this. than that. You won't survive. Um, and we just pay three life, I think. So we don't really want to. Okay. He had enough. Sorry, bro. 
So back for the post game wrap up. Uh, this this went five and one today in Mythic. Felt very very good. The only game we lost to was an Insidious Roots matchup where they had three Insidious Roots out, which is absolutely bonkers for a deck that doesn't draw any cards. Um, so I, I was very happy with this deck. Gravity Giant definitely feels like the best form as far as early ramp goes. And then it just has so many other benefits to it later in the game. Um... Overall, it felt nuts. Vein Ripper is just nuts, man. Like it, the more I play this card, especially in this deck, I'm just like, this deck is this card is perfect for this deck. And then the the additional board wipes, and then even the Gixus command to get cards back into our hand, is awesome too. That's something that I really missed from not playing it before. Like getting back Carnosaurs as a removal, or just getting back. You know, it's it's like a it's like an alternate version of push pull, like where it gains us life, it wipes the board, it kills their biggest creature, or it gets back cards. It's just it's so versatile and it's so perfect for this deck. Again, so like these two cards were just like additions that I, I don't know why they haven't been in here before, but they absolutely should have been in here the whole time. I don't know what this sideboard is right now. Um I'll have to mess around with this a little bit more. Actually, it's not terrible, but I don't know if I want third Gixis command or third cover up. I don't even know if we need Path Apparel. Maybe, maybe. We, honestly, we probably need Brotherhood's End in this side. Um, I'm trying to think. This would probably just be Deadly Cover Up, too, so. Yeah. Not really sure. I was messing around with a lot of different things, so. I like the one breach. I also like the idea of just throwing an Itali in here. An Itali, Itali, can't speak. Yeah, I just I really don't want to take out a third cut down, but I just want to have one Itali, man. It's just too good. Especially when this is the more creature creature centric version. Breach is good too, though. What to take out? I don't know. I like cut down for those those super aggressive matchups. Um. Yeah, I do not know, man. Sure, I guess. I guess so. Sure. But yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video today. I really enjoyed this list a lot. Again, this is the card. This card felt so good. It's funny because Charming Scoundrel feels good too. But this card, the reach is really huge. And then it's just more pressure. The 4-3. You know? It puts our opponent under even more pressure. As far as finding room for Natali, I don't know. Honestly, like the three Vein Rippers felt really good. I I want to have a Vein Ripper most games. Like it's just it's so hard to deal with. And then it just it once you get it out there, then you just start getting it back with with these cards mainly, and then sometimes with Gix's command. So really, we have like eight ways to get cards back. Well, this this nuts. And then seven board wipes. And then. I don't know. Some, you know, one game I think we played against Mono Black. We we ramped into Virtue like by turn four or five, and it was like, what are you gonna do? There's nothing you can do. And then it, at that point, it's just like find ways to get our uh, our creatures in the discard pile consistently. And I think they kept removing Carnosaur, which was because they couldn't move, remove Vein Ripper. So another another fun one. I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna you know continue to play this deck. This deck is so good. This deck is absolutely legit in the meta right now, even in best of one. But you guys have a good one, and I appreciate all of the support. Peace.